All right, so what I was trying to do is, before I got super glue all over my hands, I just wanted to get this kind of setting up in here like so. I make sure this cap is secure in there. That's probably good enough for now. All right, so let's see what happens. Let me grab the the platter. I do have a new belt for this. I don't know why I grabbed that. That's not my belt. And belt is from Vinyl Nirvana. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. Gotta plug it in first. Wow, look at that. Let's check out the speed. Oh, speed looks really good. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Now, one thing I did notice about the vinyl veneer on this plinth that is coming up, so you can see where it's delaminating from the wood. So, I will have to, I'll have to remove this top plate and go in there and re-glue that down, but I want to, well, first let's, let's look at what's going on with this arm. So the ARXA that I had, and uh, the more I mess around with these tables, the more I really like them. It had the, uh, the damping tone arm. This one does not, which is nice because most people will turn that off anyway, right? They'll, they'll, uh. They won't use the damping that came with these. So pull the tone arm out. Number one, this tube is loose. Now, I don't know why the tube is loose. Hopefully it's not because we have tone arm wires that are bad or disconnected or something like that, but this is, it seems to be held on with some glue. The screw is missing. Luckily, I have the other arm over here. Oh, you know, the other arm secures from the side. Two screws on the side. Luckily, part two, <laughs> I have all these little hex head. And I hope I can get one that will fit in there. That one's probably too big. I have no idea what size that is. That one may work. from the sides. Well, doesn't want to go from the side with that one. Let's try a different size. 
Worst case, I can just pull them off of the other, the other one that I have. Sorry, <laughs> I know you're probably like, just make up your mind, is it yes or is it no? So I'm gonna remove the screws on the other arm. I'm gonna do that off camera and come back. Looks like there's only one on this one side. Hopefully this is the same size. It appears that it might be, I don't know. just have it hang out a little bit. Well, that is not at all ideal. I really don't want that hanging out that far down. The other arm does not have this. At least as far as I can tell it doesn't. sure that is not the same that is not the right size let's try again nope well I think this will have to do for now until I figure out a better option and yeah, that's too small huh not for sure I'd have something to fit that. I guess I don't. Alright, so I'll put this one in here for now. Again, it's just going to hang down. It's just to secure that arm until I can find a, another screw. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run inside, grab a head shell, because I want to see if this thing even makes sound. Uh, and I'm going to grab the the uh, tone arm weight from the other tone arm and put that on there and we're going to give it a listen. Well, so that screw was too long to sit there because that's where the tone arm lever sits. So, um, so that will not work in that position. So I need to put this back in the other tone arm. Um, but there was a screw on the side that was actually just all the way in there. I couldn't see it. So now this is, once again, stable. So let's see what we have. I got it on Phono. All right, though, so there is some hum. I'll have to f it's probably that, that uh, ground wire underneath. But let's just see what happens when I... sound at all so I got some troubleshooting I have to do on the tone arm wires maybe there there's some breaks in there something like that but at least we kind of know what we are up against at this point so I'm gonna end this part right here because I'm out of battery juice anyway and we'll pick it up with me troubleshooting you know what? I'm embarrassed. Hold on a second. You, you have to connect the turntable RCA cables, I guess, to get sound, which I didn't do.
So, <laughs> so we have sound. Oh, it sounds really good too. Wow, cool, cool, cool. That works, all right. So anyway, I do, my battery is gonna die any second. So um, I am gonna rack, wrap this segment up. Uh, we'll come back after I've done some work on the plinth and uh, whatever else I'm gonna be doing to this. I have a head shell coming for it from Pat's Audio on eBay. Uh, so this is, uh, I'm borrowing this from the ARXA. So uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe. Catch you in the next video. All right, so here's the ARXB. Um, so a couple of things happened. Number one, um, I had a mishap where I deleted a whole bunch of my video files. So I had to <laughs> come back and reshoot this as I'm editing what I could salvage. I realized that the very end was cut off. So as you can tell, I purchased an aftermarket dust cover from uh, J&B Audio for the ARXB. Fantastic turntable. I have since working on the ARXA where in the video I think I said I didn't get what you know all the fuss was about with AR turntables. I have since become a convert to AR turntables. Uh, this XB is uh, this was the basket case ARXB. I do have another ARXA and ARXB in the queue that I will work on at some point if I ever find the time. Uh, I got them really great prices. So anyway, new uh, aftermarket dust cover. Um, I bought a Hudson Hi-Fi uh, slip mat for it. So that's a silicone slip mat. That's just a, a little level that I buy for my turntables and put them on there. As you can see, I've got one on my, on my Denon as well. So I haven't uh, had this one out for a while. It's one that sees a regular rotation. I think I have... What did I put on this? Um, that looks like a Pickering. Is that a Pickering? Yeah, I think it's a Pickering. So, um, sounds really good. It's, really, it's a great turntable. Very simple turntable, but a very, very, very nice turntable for what it is. So anyway, I just wanted to wrap up the project. Um, for this ARXB, there will be another one coming. Uh, the plinth is not perfect, but it's certainly not as bad as the ARXA was. So, a little bit of... I think the, probably moisture made that bubble a little bit there. So anyway, um, as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.